Let me say a big thank you for my fans, subscribers, friends, and really anyone watching my last few videos. I said I would commentate on a few things that you guys have been asking. It certainly took me a while to get a chance to do that, but it's like 5 a.m. for me right now, can't really sleep, but I really feel like commentating, so I might as well. I'll be showing you something very similar to that Safari Zone math video that I did some time ago. It's basically the same thing, and I'm going to break down what the hell is going on on screen and explain it in more concise terms so you guys know. Now, the first thing I do is load up a battle video, and then I wait a bit of time so I can activate Sweet Scent. The time is absolutely frame perfect on pressing the Sweet Scent button. And yes, I know you cannot learn Sweet Scent outside of second gen. I illegally sent one over, but that's besides the point. And here we have a flawless Talo. As discussed before, the chance is 1 in 2 to 30 second power for any given PRNG state, assuming equal distribution will be hit. Now, of course, we cannot say there is an equal distribution because Lord Emerald is static seed of zero. Now, I have to give credit to the guy who figured out how to manipulate it like this. Uh, Hozu, which, who is a researcher who has been doing this for much longer than I am, he accidentally found out that when you store a battle video, the PRNG state is recorded and can be played back. And in other words, if you wait for the PRNG state once, the moment you click there, the screen goes black, the PRNG changes to what it was before. Now, it took approximately 61 days or so to reach this point for the frames because Emerald will always start at a seed of zero. So, let's picture a circle. You begin at any given point and you gotta traverse this circle. Now, instead of having 360 degrees, as an example, you have to the 32nd points in the circle, but doesn't matter where you start. You can start from a seed of 350. Given enough iterations of the circle, you go back in it. And that's exactly what the point is here with Emerald. You are, however, stuck at a point which may be excellent for you, or it may be horrible for you. This is why you never soft reset in, in Emerald, trust me. Unless you know what you're doing, there's a chance you'll keep hitting similar seeds and you'll probably not get that shiny anytime soon. So really the trick here is to just keep advancing the frames, start a battle in the battle frontier where you can record the battle, and then once the PRNG state is recorded, you may play it back infinitely as I am doing here. You can draw a comparison with Cute Charm in terms of ROI because Cute Charm, as I showed in a previous video, lets you very, very quickly reach the shiny spot because two thirds of the time it will activate Cute Charm. And then there's a one in, well, it's eight in 25 chance of it being shiny because of the PID tables it checks. In terms of speed, of getting what the hell you want and getting it quickly, this is unprecedented because even Cute Charm only gives you lame IV shinies unless you're RNGing for it. But this, every single shiny you see on the screen is not just a shiny, but also flawless, the right nature. It's absolutely perfect. And I really love these guys. Uh, I did the same thing in the Safari Zone, and God knows I did this a lot. I caught, what, 80, 90 Pokemon off of this, and all just repeating the same thing. I don't have to reset the game even once. And while that is hypothetically possible, as I said, if you cross the RNG cycle, 
If you put it in a more applied method, that will take two years for you to traverse the cycle. So let's take an example, the Safari Zone video. I did what, nine Pokemon? It'll take you about 18 years to reach the point where you can catch all of them in a single continuous segment without using this trick here. Now, of course, this is a single continuous tool. This is a segment. A lot of my videos recently are, but I keep joking about how I am a wizard and now I'm showing you behind the curtain, so to speak, because there is indeed a trick to what the hell I'm doing, you see. Uh, a lot of tasks, a lot of RNG is using very, very minute tricks in how the game works for your advantage. Uh, and now we come to the more repetitive section of the video, which is the Ninkata. You see, when Shed Ninja evolves, it will only retain the Pokeball type in 3rd gen. So that is why I caught one in each and every single Pokeball type of this guy in a row. That's right, in a freaking row. And really, in this case, you can see that I'm not getting the same encounter every time, unless I really want to, which would be the case shortly. But that's because Synchronize has a field ability, as I'm sure most of you know. But this is very useful in Emerald and not Ruby and Sapphire or Fire Red and Leaf Green, because field abilities only start in Emerald, you see. And I got, what, 20? Uh, frames that give me flawless shiny which are very very close in proximity but in ruby and sapphire wild encounters have anywhere between zero and five chances it's absolutely crazy you really gotta be lucky with what you get but yeah this pretty much explains what happened in that video there was a lot of load stating a lot of save stating you could even see the pincer back there. I kept approaching near because I knew it wouldn't flee from me because I could just brute force it. That little trick, and I'm telling you guys right now, that took me 30 load states just so I could do it because I can. <laughs> A lot of the stuff I do honestly in RNG isn't just for collectible value, but because I wish to present it in a way that is interesting to watch, and I believe I have achieved that goal. I strive to keep reaching said goal, and that is something I really enjoy doing. I plan to commentate on more videos, especially the controversial Battle Tree video. My goodness, yeah. So thank you very much for watching.